We're sleeping with flies, we're cooking with flies. This is a problem. And this place was recently ordered shut because of a fly issue. You see flies everywhere. You look out your window, it's covered with flies. Hundreds of them all over your home. Uh, of this cabinet compared to the last one. And now I swallowed a fly. And doctors we spoke with say they have no doubt the flies will remain a problem. Have you ever thought about what actually goes on when a fly lands on your food? I spent the entire week trying to figure out the real answer, and yep, I have it. I also discovered why the fly rubs its hands together while staring at us like an evil creature. In this video, we're going to discuss some very disgusting topics, such as flies eating with their mouth parts, using their digestive juices, and the risk of contamination. I promise you won't see flies the same way after this. But before we get into the specifics, let's learn more about these tiny, annoying flying animals first. Flies are these amazing insects that are part of a class called Diptera, which is derived from the Greek words for two and wing. What's unique about flies is that they only have one pair of wings for flying. There are many distinct fly species, including mosquitoes, horseflies, craneflies, and hoverflies, and experts estimate that there may be as many as a million of them. But only approximately 125,000 have been described thus far, and only those one are eating our food. Those flies have a head that can move around, big compound eyes, and mouth parts made for different things. Some flies have mouth parts that are designed for sucking and poking, while others have mouth parts that are designed for licking and sucking. They also have these tiny claws and pads on their feet that help them grip smooth surfaces, and their wings are designed in a way that allows them to fly in a zigzag pattern. Moreover, flies undergo some fairly bizarre transformations throughout their lives. They begin as small eggs that are typically deposited directly on the food that they will consume as infants, Although the larvae or baby flies don't have real legs, they develop in a secure environment, frequently inside the food they will consume. Then flies develop into pupae, which resemble hard capsules as they get older. They develop into adults within these capsules. The worst part is that most flies don't survive to adulthood for very long. They spend relatively brief lives as adults. But the question is, are they even useful for the planet? Flies might not get much attention, but they're actually pretty amazing insects. They have an important job in the ecosystem. First of all, they aid in pollination, the process through which plants create new plants by dispersing pollen. Also, they are experts at dissolving undesirable materials such as dead plants and animals. Even their newborns consume the decomposing matter and transform it into something beneficial for the environment. It's similar to recycling, but only in the wild. The cool part is that flies have a keen sense of smell. Even from a distance, they are able to detect the slightest odors of decay. They are aware of where to go in order to do their important job. Flies are, in a nutshell, nature's unsung heroes. They maintain the balance of life, clean up after themselves, and aid in the growth of plants. They are vital to the health of our ecosystems. That's pretty amazing, right? That sounds too nice. I only saw them eating my food. More seriously, you can imagine how varied flies' eating habits can be given, that there are over 110,000 different species on the Earth. These amazing animals eat a variety of different things. Take the common housefly, for instance. These aerial bugs enjoy the strange and unusual. They love eating decomposing stuff, feasting on sweet treats, and even consuming nectar from gorgeous flowers. They will eat any honeydew that the aphids have left behind as well. The eye-catching bottle flies are the first to arrive at an animal's celebration of decomposition. They specialize in either fresh or decaying flesh. Nothing more. The cluster flies come next. They enjoy drinking plant juices and nectar. But if those aren't available, they'll happily eat organic goodness that is already decomposing. However, there's still more. Fruit flies, those amazing little creatures, have an exceptional nose for detecting yeast cells on rotting fruit and other delectable goodies. Additionally, they have a taste for the wild side and like to indulge in a little alcohol as well as drinking fermented beverages. For them, bananas are comparable to fine cuisine. We're almost ready to answer the question, but before we need to cover how fly eats. Flies have these amazing mouth parts that are made specifically for slurping up various liquids and sticky substances. While we humans have teeth to chew our food, flies have these cool mouth parts that work like sponges. Picture this. The mouth parts of flies are like straws for liquids. They can consume any liquid food. These mouthpieces stick out from the fly's face and give them a distinctive appearance, almost like an external straw. The labellum, however, is not just any portion. It is coated in this tiny sensilla, which resembles tiny hairs. These tiny hair-like structures, called sensilla, help the fly find food. Basically, 
These sensilla allow it to detect appetizing meal. If what it discovers is liquid or somewhat sticky, the labellum slurps it up like a super absorbent sponge. Now that you're an expert in fly's anatomy, you may ask, Alex, they don't have teeth, how can they chew and eat my pizza? Okay, okay, let me explain. A fly landed on your pizza. Right after landing, what's the first thing it does? It starts spitting. Yes, you heard that right. A fly can start feeding by regurgitating digestive fluids onto your food to pre-digest it. With simpler words, they spit saliva into the food and it begin to break down the solid food, turning it into mush and making it easier to eat. Now that your pizza is practically liquid gold to the fly, it uses its sponge-like mouth parts to slurp up the your pizza. This is how they can eat your solid food without chewing. You may also have observed that flies rub their front legs together after falling on your food. Let me explain why. See, flies use their legs to explore their surroundings. They look for delicious foods while acting like little detectives getting information about their surroundings. Then, while they eat, it's possible that their legs will become a little messy. So, much like we wash our hands after a meal, they wash their legs after war. Basically, these trashy insects wash their trash on top of your delicious food. This leg cleaning session helps them get rid of any leftover food bits or unpleasant stuff from their last meal. Keeping in their best form for flying and navigating their way through the world is more important than just looking nice. As a result, the next time you see a fly rubbing their legs, just know that it's all a part of their amazing routine to stay clean and ready for action. Let's now discuss the important, what actually happens when a fly decides to stop by your meal. Get ready for some disturbing news. A fly landing on your food is like a bacterial invasion party. These tiny airborne irritants have the ability to travel with a terrible army of bacteria, pathogens, and even things that could cause allergies. See, flies are notorious for carrying dangerous bacteria like E. salmonella and E. coli. They act as little disease couriers, transporting about 130 different types of harmful material that they have acquired from their not-so-glamorous hangouts in the dirtiest regions of the world. Since they lack teeth, they spit up a mixture of sticky saliva, digestive juices, and partially dissolved food, forming a disgusting soup that they then gulp down. If a fly gets cozy on your meal, there's a high chance it's leaving behind a nasty trail of germs and grime. But before you decide never to have a picnic again, it's important to know that not all flies bring bad news. However, there is a real risk. Eating the food sucked by these uninvited guests may make you feel sick to your stomach, give you food poisoning, or possibly cause more serious complications. People including infants, the elderly, and those with weakened immune systems are particularly at risk. This means that it's not only about a wrecked supper, it's also about your health. Is there a way to protect the food from flies? Yes, don't worry, I found a few tips. There are easy ways to prevent flies from contaminating your food or making you ill. Firstly, keep your outdoor dining areas neat and tidy. In order to keep those pesky flies away, use covers or screens. Clean up spills and crumbs right away, because even the smallest particles can attract flies. To prevent flies from being drawn to the smell of garbage, make sure trash bins are tightly closed and that they are routinely emptied. Also, to discourage flies from settling there, trim the plants close to where you eat outside. In order to make the space less inviting to flies, you can also apply natural products like citronella, eucalyptus, or mint oils. Furthermore, remember to constantly clean up after your pets and be extremely cautious with their stools. By employing these techniques, you may make a stronger effort to keep flies away, making your meals and daily life more hygienic and enjoyable. Comment below, I'm a fly expert. Like and subscribe to our channel. Watch for our upcoming video for more fascinating finds. Waiter, there's a fly in my soup. Could you do something about it?